Ashley. Please be seated. <clears throat> uh oh. Good morning. Hello, everybody. My name is Ramaya Krishnan. I'm Dean of the Heinz College of Information Systems and Public Policy. And I cannot tell you how thrilled and stoked I am to be here back in person with all of you for this celebration. I want to extend a warm welcome to all of you who have joined us today. We have a wonderful gallery here full of family and friends from all over the world, as well as many others who are watching the live stream of today's ceremony online. We are so pleased to welcome each and every one of you to the Heinz College Diploma and Award Ceremony. It's hard to comprehend the amount of talent and potential in this room today. Today we have with us the graduating class of 2022, as well as graduates from the classes of 2020 and 2021 who have returned to join us. And if I could go off script here for a moment, I thought yesterday you just blew everybody away in terms of how much energy you brought to Gessling Stadium. So earning a degree from Carnegie Mellon University is no easy task, and the various disruptions of the past few years have made this even more challenging. All our graduates have worked very hard to reach this significant milestone in their education, and just as importantly, each of them has done their part to make Heinz College the amazing community that it is. Please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for these outstanding individuals. Of course, it must be acknowledged that, that they did not reach this high point in their lives alone. Our students helped each other during tough times and celebrated together the good times. And through it all, they were supported by family and friends, many of whom are here today. Graduates, please join me in thanking your families and friends. Also joining us today are the many faculty and administrators who have diligently worked to create a Heinz College experience for our students and graduates, both inside and outside the classroom. We have a tradition of excellence at Heinz College, and our faculty and staff have risen to the challenge of these last few years in ways that are tremendous and inspiring, ensuring the delivery of our academic mission and supporting the success of our students. Will the faculty and staff please rise so that we may recognize you? I'd like to especially uh, introduce some of the folks seated on the stage with me today. Sam Ryman, Director and Trustee of the Richard King Mellon Foundation here in Pittsburgh, and an alumnus of the Heinz College Class of 2004. Sam. <clears throat> Andrew Wasser, Associate Dean for the School of Information Systems and Management at the Heinz College. Jackie Speedy, Associate Dean for the School of Public Policy and Management at the Heinz College. Daniel Nagan, Teresa and A. John Heinz III, University Professor of Public Policy and Statistics. Joshua Kaplan, President of the Heinz College Alumni Association Board and a 2007 graduate of the Heinz College. Karen Moore, Associate Teaching Professor of Information Systems, 
who is retiring from CMU after many years of devoted service to Heinz College and our students. More to come from her later. Before we continue with our program, I just want to say a word about commitment, which has been a defining quality for this group of students. Each of you has shown unbending commitment to your education, to each other's well-being, and to improving the lives of others. The commitment is a bedrock on which you can, all of you can build a better future. The world is shifting rapidly, in some ways profoundly, and it's people like you, problem solvers, who understand the combined power of technology, data, and creativity, who have the opportunity to create change and lead us forward in a transformative way. Each of you is now a graduate of Carnegie Mellon University. That's now part of your story as well. And this is truly just the beginning of that story. When you reflect upon that accomplishment, I hope you feel great pride in that and draw confidence from everything you've been through and learned to reach this point. I speak for all of us at the Heinz College when I say we're extremely proud of you and we can't wait to see what you do next. Bravo to all of you. And now it's my turn and my great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Sam Ryman. Sam serves as the director and a trustee of the Richard King Mellon Foundation, a private philanthropy based here in Pittsburgh. Sam oversees the foundation's administrative, programmatic, community, and strategic planning functions, including leading the foundation's 10-year strategic plan to invest more than $1.2 billion in southwestern Pennsylvania and nationally across program areas of economic development, economic mobility, health, and well-being, conservation, social impact, investments, and organizational effectiveness. With a assets estimated at $3.4 billion at the end of 2021, the R.K. Mellon Foundation provides approximately $140 million in grants and program-related investments annually and is one of the 50 largest foundations in the world. Prior to joining the R.K. Mellon Foundation, Sam served as a senior program officer at the McCune Foundation, as a program officer at the Forbes Funds, and as a senior consultant for Deloitte. Sam left high school in the ninth grade, later receiving his GED and attending Harrisburg Area Community College. Sam then transferred to Franklin and Marshall College, where he worked 1,000 hours per year as one of two scholars responsible for maintaining the 22-acre public park adjacent to campus in exchange for full tuition, room, and board. Sam holds a BA in Science, Technology, and Public Policy from Franklin and Martian College. He then received his Master of Science in Public Policy and Management from the Heinz College. He also earned a Master's Degree in Biotechnology from the Johns Hopkins University Sam resides in Pittsburgh with his family. Like you, Heinz College is part of Sam's story, and he's part of ours. We are honored to welcome, back, welcome him back today to share some of his wisdom and words with all of you. Sam. Good morning, graduates. There you go. Good morning. I was also at the commencement yesterday and saw the incredible spirit of this class or all three classes and just again, thank you for all that energy that you bring and I'm so excited and honored to speak with you today. It is hard to believe that it has been 18 years to the day since I was sitting where you are, ready to celebrate the class of 2004's collective accomplishment. 
And I say collective because as you know too well, no one graduates from Carnegie Mellon University on their own. You supported each other to get to this day through study groups, exams, systems, projects, and recruiting events. You dreamt together about what the future holds after graduation, and you have built relationships with each other that will last well beyond when you receive your diplomas today. Though as you put, prepare to receive your diplomas, you might be looking at me feeling cheated. Uh, most keynote speeches are given by politicians, celebrities, scholars, authors, tech entrepreneurs, or titans of industry. So when I was asked to speak with you today, I naturally asked myself, why me? I can't offer you 10 steps to succeed in business or share anecdotes about how I worked the halls of Congress to pass landmark legislation or explain how I wrote that piece of code that confirms we aren't robots. By the way, I love Duolingo. What I can share is a preview of your next 18 years and how what you have learned at Heinz College has given you superpowers to shape the world for the better and how the randomness of the world will shape you. Indeed, it has already. Allow me to share my experience in the hope that it will inform yours. To begin, when I arrived at CMU in 2002, I had no idea what a philanthropy was. My education prepared me for a career that I did not know existed. But R.K. Mellon had a profound impact on my life and yours without me knowing it then, or I presume you knowing it now. After all, it was a $10 million gift that R.K. and his wife Constance made in 1968 to found what was then the School of Urban and Public Affairs. Prior to SUPA, R.K. provided seed funding in 1964 to start Carnegie Mellon University's School of Computer Science. And in 1994, his foundation underwrote the creation of the Center for Neural Basis of Cognition. R.K. Mellon couldn't have known how those investments would shape technology, society, and our lives. He and his wife did not invest in computer science with the knowledge that we would one day have autonomous vehicles roaming Pittsburgh city streets. He did not invest in neuroscience with the knowledge that we would one day have devices that might prevent addiction to opioids. He did not invest in SUPA, now Heinz College, with the knowledge that we would one day have graduates who will transform the public, private, and nonprofit sectors for the good. And his foundation, the Richard King Mellon Foundation, did not invest $150 million last year into the university's College of Science, Manufacturing Futures Institute, and Robotics Innovation Center with the knowledge of what will happen 50 years from now. What R.K. Mellon did know, and what the foundation still embraces as our ethos, is that when you place bets on the future, including in yourself, eventually the future catches up. And now more than ever, foundations, corporations, individuals, and private investors are making big bets on changing the world for the better. And at no other time in our nation's history have we seen such wealth being created and redistributed through philanthropy to support more than 1.5 million organizations nationally committed to the common good. There were more than 120,000 foundations nationally that gave away $88 billion in 2020. But consider that number in comparison to individuals who gave away $324 billion. We are the most generous nation on the planet and have been for more than the past decade. Funding to prevent the destruction of habitat, water, air, wildlife, and the climate. Funding to help children and youth break generations of poverty through education and access to careers. Funding to help more women and people of color become startup founders. Funding to help more people live healthy and fulfilling lives free of injustice. Funding to end pandemics and reduce the spread of disinformation. Funding to support for-profit entrepreneurs who believe making money and doing good aren't binary choices. And funding to make sure talent everywhere is given a fair chance to participate in this new economy. And we see this work happening more often with the support of all three sectors of our economy. As Paul Light wrote in his book, The New Public Service, which had such a profound influence on me when I was where you are, many of you will spend your careers traversing the nonprofit, public, and private sectors in pursuit of the common good. Your first official superpower as a Heinz College graduate is indeed your ability to navigate all three of those sectors over the course of your careers with ease. I've also learned from working in philanthropy that the solutions to society's most intractable problems require money, lots of it. But money is not the solution. 
That subtle distinction is what separates charity from philanthropy. And as I learned from Dr. Gaynor, demand for free money always exceeds supply. There are many other resources that are needed to support leaders who are seeking to make positive change, and none more important than data. And you are better prepared to utilize data to make positive change than any other Heinz classes in history. Forget summary statistics, cross tabs, or access database reports. You can build models that use artificial intelligence to predict risk in real time. You can use those models to identify the most effective interventions, and you can optimize those interventions around cost and utilization. In case you didn't notice, Dr. Calkins has also trained you well. And as the authors of the book's Prediction Machines noted, the cost of these tools is decreasing, making the economics for using them in a variety of settings even more appealing. But as you all know, we are not there yet. These types of solutions remain largely out of the reach to foundations and government. Take, for example, the foundation's response to COVID-19 in March of 2020. We pivoted our grant making to support what we knew would be a crisis of historic proportions, relying mostly on data that we collected from past recessions. But I couldn't tell you with any precision how many families would go hungry after losing their jobs. With all the remarkable progress we have made as a society in collecting data, the Foundation's best proxy for hunger was an aerial picture of a line of cars backed up for miles at the Pittsburgh Community Food Bank. But even with data in hand, you will learn that not everyone will respond with open arms. Data reveals hard truths, corruption, and failed practices. It runs headfirst into culture, politics, and the perception that one group's gain is another's loss. And data, as you know, is not perfect. A predictive model might be right 97% of the time, but that doesn't make it righteous. Sometimes a picture of a family waiting outside of the food bank is worth a thousand terabytes. And I'm sure someone in this audience has already converted that into a petabyte. Yet you are the graduates who can democratize data for the common good. If Netflix can predict which shows we are most likely to watch, then we should be able to predict how many children will go to bed hungry in New York. Your second Heinz College superpower is your ability to use data as a tool for positive change. But you are not only objective stewards of the data. As I mentioned at the outset, randomness has already impacted your life in unexpected ways. Take, for example, the classes of 01, 02, and 03, tech bubble in 9-11. The classes of 08, 09, and 10, credit default swaps. And the classes of 20, 21, and 22, you get it. Recession, pandemic, famine, War. These are the random events that can change the entire course of world history and our role in that story for better or worse. But it isn't only extinction level events that alter our life trajectory. As Bruce Failer writes in his book, Life is in the Transitions, we should expect to experience major life events, or what he calls life quakes, that will result in our spending at least half of our lives in transition. For most people, we can spot these random events immediately. A death in the family, a divorce, a panic attack while performing surgery, or your version of it. They don't kill us, but they feel existential. But what about the random events that oftentimes seem inconsequential? Leonard Milano writes about this phenomenon in his book, The Drunkard's Walk. No, it's not a book about your Carson Street bar crawls. That's a different topic that we'll come back to. Um, it's, among other topics, talking about statistics and probability, any one of which Dr. Nagin behind me can assist you with, should you decide to pick up the book and read it. It describes how even those small random events in our lives can alter our lives in dramatic ways. As I was asked to participate in this keynote speech with you today, it afforded me the opportunity to reflect on my own path. And I can see in hindsight numerous examples of random events, both big and small, that altered my life with some events even colliding with each other across the dimension of time. That my older brother earned his GED and attended the community college that he knew only about because it was in the old RCA manufacturing facility up the hill from the apartment complex where we lived. That I would read the philosophy and history textbooks he brought home with him from college and eventually would earn my GED and attend that same 
Community College, that I would meet a fellow student there who would earn a scholarship to Franklin and Marshall and tell me how to apply, that I would be ready to apply exactly when one of two slots for the scholarship became available, that the person at FNM who I would replace was denied his request to keep his scholarship one extra semester, that I would forget the time for my scholarship interview and my now wife would call the admissions office without my knowledge and implore them to give me a second chance. That I would even meet my wife, a Colombian immigrant who came to this country as a child with her mother and brother after her father and sister died. That I wasn't with my brother the night he was killed in a car accident at the age of 29. That I would stumble upon a poster in a hallway at FNM about Heinz College that I would enroll in a class at Heinz College that would introduce me to my first internship in philanthropy, that I would remember missing my f and interview and in preparation for my final interview at RK Mellon Foundation, would conduct a test drive the night before only to get lost in the woods, that the day of my interview, I would be the only person to arrive on time as others who didn't attempt the trip the night before got lost in the woods. What does this mean for you? Does such randomness mean that all your hard work to graduate from Carnegie Mellon, to build a career, to live the life that you prefer on your terms is left to luck? Is the course of our lives left to the same random fate as the weather, stock market, or atoms colliding in space? Are we indeed all robots, even if we click that box saying that we are not? Not entirely. As I reflect on my own path, I have learned that we can't control the future, but we can control our ability to embrace the randomness. And that is your third Heinz College superpower. The training you've received here has given you all the ability to embrace the randomness that invariably will come your way. Embrace the chance to acquire knowledge at every stage of your life. Embrace the chance to love and be loved. Embrace the chance to make a difference in people's lives. Embrace fear of the unknown and step right into it. Embrace the limited time you have in this world with a sense of urgency. It is in that spirit that I will embrace the randomness of being here today with all of you, to remind myself what is possible and still left to be done, to see the world through your eyes with the same sense of possibility, passion, and hope for the future visions that tend to dim over one's lifetime, to embrace your emotions of pride, accomplishment, and joy as you sit here today, to mentally take my seat amongst you all again. And as I do, I will look ahead to the day when any one of you, with your graduation 18, behind, 18 years behind you, makes your way to this podium to offer your thoughts to the Heinz College Class of 2040. I can't wait to see how you all make this world a better place. Congratulations, graduates. Sam, thank you for those very inspiring remarks. And, um, not only for your inspiring life story, but also about the leadership, both in the region and for all the impact the R.K. Mellon Foundation has had, um, and for being the leader of an organization that helped create us in 1968. Thank you again. It's now time to present awards honoring the accomplishments of some very special members of the Heinz College community. Just a minute. I thought we were going to do the PhD students. Let's see. Do we have the, the, the right? We have an audible that we're going to call. And uh, thank you. So as some of you might have known, the PhD student um, hooding ceremony has um, now been made part of this ceremony. So it's going to be very special where we're going to now um, have uh, the opportunity to um, award our uh, PhD uh, candidates these uh, awards. First, a student leadership first. Okay. So no audible call. I'm going to follow the script. Okay. Um, all right, so 
First, the Barbara Jenkins Service Award is presented annually to a graduating student who has demonstrated outstanding service to Heinz College and made significant contributions to the quality of life in the Pittsburgh community. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Ajra Shahab. Ajra, please join me on the stage. Ajra is graduating from the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management, the Data Analytics Program. As a Traffic 21 Women in Transportation Fellow and leader of the CMU Transportation Club, Hajra has played an active role in engaging with multiple stakeholders on campus, as well as in the community in the field of transportation. She has taken initiative in organizing events, mentoring fellow students, and sharing her passion for accessible and smart transportation. Hajra, thank you very much for your service to Pittsburgh and the Heinz College. The Student Leadership Award is presented to a student recognized for excellent academic achievement, strong communication skills, and exceptional promise for future success. This year's recipient is John Reicher. John, please join me on stage. John Reicher is graduating from the Master of Science in Public Policy Management program. While excelling in the classroom, and as a teaching assistant, John also created a strong and welcoming community at Heinz for our military and veteran students by reviving the Heinz College Military and Veterans Association. By hosting monthly events and a VIP speaker, John showed adept and thoughtful leadership skills. Following graduation, John will continue his service to the U.S. Army by attending the Command and General Staff College at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. John, thank you for your service, and congratulations once again. I'd like to take a moment to recognize a PhD student who was selected by the PhD committee to receive the Suresh Khanda Memorial First Research Paper Award, named in memory of alumnus Suresh Khanda, who earned his Master of Science in Public Policy and Management degree and the PhD degree at the Heinz College. This year's recipient is Ryan Steed, for his paper, Quantifiable Disparate Impacts of Statistical Uncertainty and Privacy in Census-Guided Grants. Ryan could not join us for the ceremony today, but let's congratulate him on winning this award. The next PhD award is given in honor of Professor Emeritus George T. Duncan, who joined Carnegie Mellon's faculty in 1974 and spent his career advancing the application of statistics in decision-making, information systems, and social accountability. Helen Shushuan Zhang, if you could please join us. Helen Shushuan Zhang is the recipient of this year's George T. Duncan Second Research Paper Award for a paper, The Where, The When, and Why of Movie Piracy. Analyzing piracy activities versus legal consumption in local theaters with a structural modeling approach. Congratulations, Helen. The Outstanding Teaching Assistant Award is presented in recognition of excellent student support by Heinz College Teaching Assistant, 
and goes to Zaid Al Kilani. Zaid received many nominations for this award, each in his own way, citing Zaid's commitment and attention to students' needs and his knack for identifying students' level of understanding and meeting them where they are to ensure their comprehension and success. Zayed could not join us today for this ceremony, but let's give him a hearty round of applause. Each year, the graduating class chooses one student to share his or her thoughts and reflections on their experiences at Heinz College. This year, Sunny Dangui was selected by her peers. Sunny, please join me on stage. <laughs> Sunny is from Shenzhen, China, and she earned her undergraduate degree from Colby College, majoring in Spanish and theater and dance, before joining the Master of Entertainment Industry Management program here at Heinz. Following her graduation, Sunny will be joining Big O Technology and will be splitting her time between the Turkey office and the headquarters in Guangzhou before potentially relocating to Spain. Wow, that's pretty cool. Sunny, the podium is yours. It's Sunny. Sunny. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, the tassel. Okay. Well, good morning, everyone. It, morning. It's truly an honor for me to be speaking to you today. And hello, mom and dad. I know you're live streaming from China right now. You know, I spend a lot of time trying to come up with a funny intro but I don't think I'm a particularly funny person. I do, however, want my parents to think I am, so that maybe, finally, they'll accept my TikTok comedies. So could you please pretend that I just told you the funniest joke ever and laugh, please? <laughs> thank you, thank you. You guys are an awesome crowd. But today is not about me. It's also not just about you. It's about all of us finally being able to come together in Pittsburgh from LA, DC, Australia, and the bedrooms that we called our campuses to celebrate this chapter in our lives. Before we turn to the next chapter, I'd like to ask you all to take a moment and think about boxes. Who's heard of Box? You know, the place where we uploaded our assignments for the past two years? Our lives have definitely been quite boxed up recently. From the boxes of our to-do list to the Zoom boxes that we had our classes in. But there was a time when our lives flourished beyond the parameters of those boxes. When I was a kid, I had a million dreams. I kept a notebook of original lyrics, random story ideas, and the craziest recipes so that when I grew up, I'd make them a reality. However, when I started college, those dreams funneled down into two majors. My scribbles morphed into to-do lists. I checked off every box on the list so that maybe I can fit into the career box that society has prepared for me. As students, we have an innate urge to be constantly doing something. Jumping from academics to internships to our personal problems, we are conditioned to pursue one item after another to prove our worth. For me, the urgency is heightened by a countdown timer. I'm from Shenzhen, also known as the Silicon Valley of China. Like every other international student, I go through each day reminded that our time in the US expires with our visas. 
Our to-do list grew even longer as we squeezed a lifetime of experiences into merely a couple of years. However, everything changed in 2020. When COVID hit, hiring froze, country borders closed, our time in the U.S. had to be cut short, yet we had nowhere else to go. At that time, I was very fortunate to meet my Master of Entertainment Industry Management cohort, who shared with me a desire to foster a community. Despite the lack of in-person interaction, we cheered each other on, saying that everything will be okay. Underneath the cheerleading, however, was the fact that something wasn't sitting quite right. Community took on an entirely different meaning. Classes meant sitting 5,000 miles apart from each other. Picnics on Flagstaff Hill meant a video call. Happy hours meant drinking on Zoom together. I hope you're okay. <laughs> I didn't want to admit it at the time, but I wasn't really okay. And to be honest, I don't think my cohort was either. What I didn't realize until later was that it's okay to feel that way. It's okay not to have everything together at all times. It's okay to not know. It's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to just be. We cannot choose the things that happen to us, but we can choose how they make us as a person. Focus on checking off our to-do list. Sometimes we forget about who we are, who we want to become, and why we started in the first place. Instead of trying to pursue a role set for us by society, we can be everything, everywhere, all at once. You can be an IT manager with a passion for knitting. You can be a healthcare provider with a beauty product line. You can also be a commencement speaker running a TikTok comedy side gig. The thing is, being ourselves is the most powerful role we can assume. So be yourself, because everyone else is already taken, except for my fellow single friends. So ditch the to-do list for today and make a to-be list. Allow yourself to make peace with yourself, both the beautiful and even more so the ugly. There is profound success in accepting who we are, regardless of the steps that took us to get there. My fellow Heinzers, we came out of the ketchup bottle, but now the world is going to want to catch up with us. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives. So go out there and be the people that we want to become. Thank you again, and congratulations to us all. Thank you, Sunny. And now, it's time to recognize our PhD graduates re receiving their Doctor of Philosophy degrees today. Will the Doctor of Philosophy candidates please rise and come forward? Is this the one? So this is what I was referring to earlier about the, um, the need for us to have our wonderful PhD students being recognized today. So I'm pleased to present uh, Nathaniel William Bragg with a Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Management. Nathaniel. 
Nee. And while he's hooded, I'm going to tell you a little bit about his dissertation. Nathaniel's dissertation is titled, Three Essays on the Economics of Healthcare Providers. Nathaniel has accepted a postdoctoral fellowship at Stanford and the Palo Alto Veterans Affairs Office. Professor Lowell Taylor is Nathaniel's advisor and will perform the hooding. I'm pleased to present Ranshan Fu with a Doctor of Philosophy in Information Systems and Management. <laughs> Ranshan's dissertation is titled Bias, Fairness, and Disparate Social Impacts of Machine Learning Algorithms. She's accepted an assistant professor position at the Stern School of Business at New York University. Professor Param Singh is the co-chair and actually I was also a co-chair of her thesis, is Runshan's advisor and will perform the hooding. I'm pleased to present Nelson Ricardo Laverde Cabillos with the Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Management. <laughs> Ricardo's dissertation is titled Essays on Innovation and International Competition. He's currently an assistant professor at the Institute of Education and Research in Brazil. Professor Lee Brandstetter is Ricardo's advisor and will perform the hurry. I'm pleased to present Sean Lee with the Doctor of Philosophy in Economics and Public Policy. Ashley's dissertation is titled Three Essays on Immigration Economics. She's accepted an assistant professor position in the Scheller School of Business at Georgia Tech. It's also my pleasure to announce that Ashley is the 2022 recipient of the William W. Cooper Dissertation Award. <laughs> which is given annually at Carnegie Mellon University to a doctoral dissertation that deals with issues and problems in management or management science and has a strong applications orientation with accompanying theoretical or methodological developments. Professor Brian Kovac is Ashley's advisor and performed the hooding. I'm pleased to present Yang Fan Liang with the Doctor of Philosophy in Information Systems and Management. <laughs> Yang Fan's dissertation is titled Three Essays on Consumer Behavior in Technology Enabled Markets. He's accepted a position at Amazon as a data scientist. <clears throat> is Yang Fan's advisor and will perform the hooding. I'm pleased to present Siddhartha Sharma with the Doctor of Philosophy in Information Systems and Management. Siddhartha's dissertation is titled Strategies and Implications of digital platforms. He's currently an assistant professor at the Kelly School of Business at Indiana University. Making it memorable. <laughs> Thank you.
Professor Telang did the honors just a moment ago, and he's Siddhartha's advisor. Um, I'm pleased to present Zhao Ying Tu, the Doctor of Philosophy in Information Systems and Management. Zhao Ying's dissertation is titled Three Essays on Channel Competition and Complementarities of Entertainment Goods in the Digital Age. This is getting to be exciting, isn't it? He's currently an assistant teaching professor at the Heinz College, uh, and it's delightful to have him on our faculty as well. Professor Mike Smith is Zhao Ying's advisor and will perform the hearing. Please join me in a round of applause for all of our PhD graduates. It's now time to recognize our graduates receiving their master's degrees. Some students are recognized as graduating with distinction, others with highest distinction. Will program director Sean Beggs please come forward to congratulate our Masters of Information Systems Management graduates. Sean. Will the graduates of the Master of Information Systems Management program please rise and come forward? Thank you. Anvita Kare. Samruti Raj Mohan. Sparsh Tegriwal. Ami Kotia. Daryl C. U. Highest Distinction. Meghna Chabra. Highest Distinction. Sparsh Tegriwal. Fanny Tasha, distinction. Marcus Lee. Masum Patel, distinction. Abhishek Mahajani. Ge Yueshri. Steffi Rego. Han Ying Lee. Mandar Deepak Limai. Drew Zee 
Kai, highest distinction. Jui Zhu Wang, highest distinction. Sachi Talwai. Shruti Govin Kaprandikar. Shreya Shelvant, highest distinction. Juliana Urtado. Darshil Samir Hina Pandya, highest distinction. Yi Chen Wang, highest distinction. Shreya Sharnagat. Amber Chi Fan Shi. Abhishek Smita Kumlesh Parik, highest distinction. Zhong Ling Wang, distinction. Anup Kumar Prakashan. Aaron Thomas Varugis. Pranav Sanjay Kataria, distinction. Shranik Piyush Vora. Zimo Yang. Lulu Gong. Shouting Zhang. Padma Kandawal, distinction. Hoi Kit Fu, highest distinction. Vivian Chang, highest distinction. Jia Bing Gong, distinction. Isabel Huang. Shubang Set, highest distinction. Wu Chi Eleanor Wu, highest distinction. Vidika Lonare. Jia Ying Ye, highest distinction. Shivani Gampa. Jing Xuan Li, highest distinction. Shreyanshi Basu. Sona Mishra, highest distinction. Shraddha Gokali. Somya Agarwal. Vincent Liang. Avnish Khanna, highest distinction. Wang Tianyi. Preeti Kumari. Chen Shuang Li, highest distinction. Mino Kandelwo. Vinit Shah, distinction. Akanksha Yadav. Manish Sombash. Nandini Nerukar. Vinjaya Sai Bavyanth Koli. Kartik Mudgil. Maheswar Reddy Somaguta. Maitri Rajuvasa, highest distinction. Rishab Ranga. Krishma Rajain Padik. Yamuna Bhaskar Surendra Bafbu. Ashwini Dure Swami. Jia Yuang Zhang, highest distinction. Mahek Sikha. Wen Ye Li, highest distinction. Vivek Dwivedi, distinction. Joey Perino. Vipasha Aswati. Edward Yonghee Cho, highest distinction. Urania Siabani. Landon Scott, distinction. Ashe Gupta, distinction. Tantan Kwan, highest distinction. Gautam Kumar Vedam. Xinru Chen, distinction. Murlidar Jainandan Sharma. Chu Wan Ran. Li Qing Liu, highest distinction. Salu Deshpande. Shi Zhang, distinction. Kushagar Arora, 
highest distinction. Tian Yu Lu. Tanvi Jane. Qing He Pan. Varshini Aila Vajhala. Divya Gupta. Kirti Motwani. Pratik Singh Maini. Jayashri Ramachandran. Jie Shen, highest distinction. Amisha Agrawal, highest distinction. Elizabeth Chen Wong. Ashutosh Bagel, distinction. Himanshu Aurora, distinction. Sandesh Kot, highest distinction. Shravani Baswujaraj. Alankrit Chaturvedi. Pu Xin Zhao. Raghav Sud, distinction. Xu Zhang, highest distinction. Sheetal Chaula. Xi Zhe Yang. Sukriti Bharti. Alicia Sherakar. Yuo Lei, highest distinction. Shambhavi Upadhaya. Zehua Sun. Nikita Mohan, distinction. Nico Liang. Laksh Purahit. Yuan He. Ariel Xiao. Joy Mu. Kevin Su. Yi Ting Jiang. Pei Zhan Chen. Vignesh Kumar. Yu Ru Sai. Ding Lei, distinction. Frank Yoshang Wang, highest distinction. Wen Bo Liu. Wei Jia Zhu. Ashwin Sridharan. Radhika Kandelwal, highest distinction. Si Ping Wang, distinction. Varsha Jane, distinction. Yi Tian Ni. Avira Srivastava. Shan Yue Wan, distinction. Akshay Munde, highest distinction. Lei Wang. Shashank Boop, distinction. Yushan Yan. Pritvi Podar. Kecheng Tsao. Surya Sinwani, highest distinction. Chen Hao, highest distinction. Gopi Krishna Kappa Gunta, distinction. Lansing Yifan Chen, distinction. Yanjin Wang. Shi Yi Liu, distinction. Ro Ran Wang. Hong Jin Wang, distinction. Bao Wen Kang, highest distinction. Ding Kan Lai. Elaine Ku. Zi Kai Zhao. Rachel E. Tong Lei. Zhou Lan Chang, distinction. Kiara Marchese. Yi Zi Shu, highest distinction. Ankita Coatwall, highest distinction. Dan Li. Camila Garcia Chacon, highest distinction. Ling Wen Liang. Vanessa de Souza, distinction. Yue Jia. Andres Montoya Lopez. Zhe Ping Liu. Molly Serban. 
Zhao Lang Shuang, Distinction. Himang Manish Shah, Highest Distinction. Mando Clementi, Distinction. Kashik Chaitanya Kodi Cherla. Nividita Majumdar, Distinction. Sadanta Bista. Vivek Bhakta. Chinok Lingo, Highest Distinction. Arshi Rai. Sangeeta Manavinan. Arush Gupta. Sanil Sanjay Rao, Distinction. Sonal Prakash Das. Colton Smith, Distinction. Ramya Shashidar Olagitama. Tang Gao Ming. Yi Ting Han. Katie Chang, Distinction. Arushi Vyas. Wendy Xu, Highest Distinction. Jaskeet Singh Wasan. Chi Fan Zhang, Distinction. Aditi Butra. Dong Yun Kim. Pratamesh Sanjay Desai. Anita Sarah Nailiat, Highest Distinction. Parth Shah, Distinction. Rakshanda Rajashri Ranjit Singh Rajput. Ratnesh Shah, Distinction. Akshar Modi. Jamalbik Akramovich Abdiv. Please join me in a round. Please, please join me in a round of applause. <laughs> Will the graduates of the Master of Information Systems Management, Business Intelligence, and Data Analytics please rise forward? Please, please rise and come forward. Michael Swim, Highest Distinction. Jonah Woods, Distinction. Shi Min Zhang, Highest Distinction. Kavya Reddy. Kate Maffey, Distinction. Akanksha Rawat, Distinction. Catherine Lee Dula, Highest Distinction. Kalmudi Bupala. Jennifer Marie Neiman, Highest Distinction. Shupam Jaiswal. Jonathan Denker, Highest, or sorry, Distinction. Sagnik Rana. Bobby Nelson, Highest Distinction. Spriha Gupta. Eric Friend, Highest Distinction. Arkesh Roth. Highest Distinction. John Thomas McCormick, Highest Distinction. Sonali Kushup. Blake Jacobs. Abhishek Amrutya, Distinction. Xiu Ping Wu. 
William Howard Coggins. Jagrati Pandey. Ashim Singh Chadda. Shreya Bide. Laura Pereira. Brarangi Upadhaya. Bern Tong Yang, highest distinction. Yang Lin Chang. <laughs> Sahib Singh. Rory Finnegan. Anita Gali, highest distinction. Zhu Liang Zhang. Darshan Rajesh Tina, highest distinction. Syed Danish Ahmed, highest distinction. Sonali Agarwal, highest distinction. Ashish Mohanan, highest distinction. Lu Ping Fang, highest distinction. Anna Tan. Jun Chan. Ameya Anil Salvi. Liu Si Yan, highest distinction. Avlin Garcha. Si Li. Aishwarya Iyer. Yu Zhan Lin. Karthik Bunso, highest distinction. Liu Yang Shan. Shi Chen. Wang Shan Wu, highest distinction. Jin Yi Li. Dan Chen San. Maria Camila Lara Cuervo, highest distinction. Emily An Yu Tsai. Brenda Palma Gisar, highest distinction. Shi Tin Sun. Alejandro Alvarez Gutierrez. Baron Liu. Tong Liu, distinction. Zhou Liang. Devon Kit Sahu, highest distinction. Tan V. Mito Pooja Vasudevan Wen Ting Zhao, highest distinction Ying Tian Zhu, highest distinction Wan Xian Chen Shuang Zheng, highest distinction Zoe Wong, highest distinction. Wu Ru Lin, distinction. Abhishek Iv Malik. Niha Kashik. Vipin Gyanchen Dudney. Kritika Sinha. Please join me in a round of applause. <laughs> Will Program Director Randy Trezak please come forward? Will the graduates of the Masters of Science in Information Security Policy and Management please rise and come forward.
Lydia Barrett, highest distinction. Nishit Yadav, highest distinction. Anoki Desai, highest distinction. Kyle Rota, distinction. Ernest Aflu, highest distinction. Peter Awari. Vera Siva Sai Lokesh Nandiraju, highest distinction. Hemant Sharma, distinction. Yulini Persad. Sonika Sawant, highest distinction. Tyler James Chuba, distinction. Vidya Mordi, highest distinction. Ryan Samuel Labriola, distinction. Rajat Singh, highest distinction. Frank Longo. Kopa Agrawal, distinction. Crystal Alexandria Jackson. Joshua Redford. Joel Oliva, distinction. Sarab Pete, distinction. Lindsay Oliva, distinction. Ashish Koshik. Maggie Kunzler. Rayma Thomas, highest distinction. Olivia Savannah Theodore, distinction. Matias Rosner Ortiz, highest distinction. Lexi Rakowski, highest distinction. Pavitra Pradip, highest distinction. Anna Collins, distinction. Harshal Badresh Kumar Shah, highest distinction. Chase Pashuto, di highest distinction. <laughs> Abilosh Kashyap, highest distinction. Garrett Ma, distinction. Clifford Rosenberg, highest distinction. Caden Hess, highest distinction. Thomas Michael George Cassidy. Martin Arango Lago, highest distinction. Laura Sayer, highest distinction. Mitchell Pop, highest distinction. Bryce Benjamin. Nicholas Joseph Bellani, highest distinction. Jordan Alexander Christian, distinction. Mac Peterman. Oluwashun Adetayo, highest distinction. Tristan Pittman. <laughs> Leah Cranes, highest distinction. Arush Gupta. Jonathan Kaldani. Would you please join me in a round of applause? Will Program Director Allison Frankowski please come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Information Technology please rise and come forward?
Mohanpreet Singh Gujral. Mario Bedoja. Kerry Snyder. Luis Diego Gutierrez, highest distinction. Heather Ann Riley Schaefer, highest distinction. Coyote DG. Priyanka Madhav Raja, highest distinction. Brendan Keith Means Cost, distinction. Mira Wu. Diego Valenzuela Phillips. Louis Matucci, highest distinction. Aldo Mestas. Eduardo Fuentes Martinez, highest distinction. Piero Velasquez. Luke Gallagher, highest distinction. Andres Duran Kenny Espinosa. Highest distinction. Jia Chun Zhou. Ahio Damaso. Distinction. Taylor Charles Bolton. Highest distinction. Maria Fernanda Sanchez. Kayla Von Haverbeck. Jose Roberto Perez Gonzalez. Eric Moreno Diaz, highest distinction. Stephen Nye. Karen Christina Suho Kontla. Amanda Fritz, highest distinction. <laughs> Carla Vija Cresses. Kevin Wolf, highest distinction. Marco Gordillo, highest distinction. Vinny Puglisi. Craig Meckler, highest distinction. Zhen Tian Luo. Donald Scott Welker, highest distinction. <laughs> Joseph Turner, highest distinction. Yi Ling Wang. Fang Shu. Ya Long Tsai. Bo Yang Jia. Joseph Leiko. Yu Jie Tong. Distinction. Baltazar Ortiz. Distinction. Guo Tian Yi. Highest distinction. Ro Xuan Li. Highest distinction. Meng Yuan Hao. Zi Xiao Xing. Highest distinction. Please join me in a round of applause. <laughs> Jessica Bowser Acre, please rise and come forward. Will the graduates of the Masters of Arts Management please rise and come forward?
Yu Wen Shen, highest distinction. Rachel Corson, highest distinction. Sun Jin Yu. Yusef Hassan Shokri, distinction. Yu Xin Du, distinction. Emily Patton White, distinction. Suraj Prasad. Alexandra Cornidis. Ma Chi, highest distinction. Angela Carey Johnson. Caitlin Clement. Ryan Dumas, highest distinction. Shun Sho Carmack, highest distinction. Carol Elizabeth Niedringhaus, highest distinction. Elizabeth Ann Forey. Rachel Samantha Johnson, distinction. Katie Winter, highest distinction. Andrew Max Wolverton. Snow Joe, distinction. Madison Elizabeth Morrow. Kathleen Lynn Hill, highest distinction. Amelia Ann Stevens. Emily Ann King, highest distinction. Margo Duncan Cunningham. Alyssa Robleski. Marion Emanuelson, distinction. Amelia Greco. Hannah Rhodes, highest distinction. Andrea Cherry, highest distinction. Rachel Meredith Kingham, highest distinction. Please join me in a very loud round of applause. Will program director, Dr. Dan Green, please come to the podium. Will the graduates of the Master of Entertainment Industry Management please rise and come forward. Brandon Hamilton, highest distinction. Ashley Sai. Ariel Simone Miller. Sarah Fleischer. Alec Albright, highest distinction. Sunny Dangwe. Sabrina Chong. Yukina Masuda, distinction. Yu Jin Luo. Helen Mina Hedron, highest distinction. Yi Chu Chen, highest distinction. Sayeda Isha Rashid. Mandy Chen. Manuel Antonio Valerino Posa, highest distinction. Whitney Jefferson, distinction. Spencer from. Brianna Rose Holzman, highest distinction. Bo Gyeong Kim. Fiona Christina Weber, highest distinction. Chris Dinardi. Benjamin Levitt, distinction. Susie Lee. <laughs> Michaela Dimmick. Violet 
Jia Yuan Shi, highest distinction. Samuel Schmidt Hul, distinction. Hao Dong Yin, highest distinction. Han Qing Jin. Please join me in a round of applause. Will the director of the Master of Healthcare Analytics and Healthcare Management Programs, Alexandra Lutz, please come forward. Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Healthcare Analytics and Information Technology please rise and come forward. Chariot Bolton, highest distinction. Samira Cody, highest distinction. Monita Patia Guli Pudi, highest distinction. Meghna Subramanyam. Srimoy Song, distinction. Muhammad Mansur, highest distinction. Tess Nywood, highest distinction. Byung Jung Kim, highest distinction. Yang Ling Chin. Sophia Angel. Trista Lin. Abby Sivatarman, distinction. Phoebe Lee. Hima Sagar. Molakapuri, highest distinction. Joey E. Joe. Please join me in a round of applause. Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Healthcare Policy and Management please rise and come forward? Danny Grodsky, highest distinction. Rashita Dunang. Jeannie G. Eun Choi, distinction. Avni Ashish Shah, highest distinction. Sharnika Saravanan, highest distinction. Ikene Awele Ohanwusi. Devia Gupta. Laura Liliana Obregon Mendez. Vincent Cabo. Maura Saxon. Karina Parashev. 
Rosana Pineda Guzman. Please join me in a round of applause. Will Program Director Rebecca Apple please come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Medical Management program please rise and come forward? Usam Ali Marwani. Paul Michael Ensler. Kimberly Claire Tickner. Jamie Jose Limjoko. Sheena Antonio Kali. Sachet Sarda. Gunjan Singh. Gitu Palajani. Mohammed Al Habdan, Alex Ruby, Bonnie Alyssa Gold Rothberg, Marinelle Camilon, Kimberly Ann Costello, Matthew Woodski, Hanshu Mohindra, Rishan Patel. Ven Kateswara Davaluri Rakesh Sharma Sandeep Sharma Farhan Javed Kawaja Mark Edward Hoffman Christopher Scott Vagnoni Please join me in a round of applause. Will the director of the School of Public Policy and Management, Gladys Perez Sipersert, please come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Public Management please rise and come forward? Mark Jeffrey Patak, Distinction. Erica Jade Lynn Weston. Nicholas Bellavia, Distinction. Aaron Latimer, Distinction. Amanda Barclay, Highest Distinction. Brad Oliver, Highest Distinction. Tracy Renee Johnson. Anna Argabright. Hilary Marcella, highest distinction. Ellen Andrea Duran Young. Bradley Richards Noss, distinction. Stephanie Santo. Deborah Fell. Alexander Zisman. Jacob 
Quinton Jagger. Tyler Welsh. Robert James Paul. Kafui Gucci. Jody Hanley, highest distinction. Sonia Reed, highest distinction. Jesse Baird Lehoski, highest distinction. Juan Chen, distinction. Please join me in a round of applause. Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management please rise and come forward. Fan Shu Zhou, highest distinction. Andres Garduño. <laughs> Ching Yang Shen. Brandy Bear. Philip Joseph DeSecco. <laughs> distinction. Veli Velia Sando. John Boyle. Distinction. Brandy Nicole Burke. Ann Jensen. Brian Martin Gomez. Paige Hanna, highest distinction. Oscar Medina. Mary Yengert, highest distinction. Halima Ahmad. Bryce Fobble. Clayton Caldwell, highest distinction. Cameron Drayton. Lewis William Bartholomew, distinction. Jerry Isaac Williams. Nicole Ananziata, highest distinction. Morgan Newman Perry, highest distinction. Samuel David Zinski. <laughs> Laura Amon Velasquez, highest distinction. Alec Harkins, highest distinction. <laughs> Zahim Hussein. Emily Huang, distinction. Kelsey Molka, distinction. John Reicher, highest distinction. Lauren Weiser. Aaron Lin, highest distinction. Sivan Mitsan. Lance Lee. <laughs> Juliet Crowen, highest distinction. Fami Islami, highest distinction. Mary Kubinski, highest distinction. Omowumi Muchinrayo Shoremi. Anna Shepherson, highest distinction. Brenda Luna Macedo. 
Jia Xin Hu Distinction. Tara Lowry, Highest Distinction. Yu Shen Sheng. Sophie Abo, Highest Distinction. Jacelt Gomez. Brandon Gray, Highest Distinction. Lisa Giotoko, Distinction. Jesus Silva Elizalde. Bella Lu, Highest Distinction. Wei Xian Sun. Zhuang Ma. Mars Guo. Please join me in a round of applause. Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management, Data Analytics, please rise and come forward. Lori Zakalik, highest distinction. Lindsay Graf, highest distinction. Tyro Oluwatobi Jagade, highest distinction. Alvaro Gonzalez Magnolfi, highest distinction. Callie Lambert, highest distinction. Rebecca Estella Cotton, highest distinction. Jennifer Andre, highest distinction. Claire Elizabeth Skinner. Lucknath Gunatilakwe. Kyle Soto. Alexander Talbot. Elizabeth Marie Root. Catherine Diaz, highest distinction. Daniel Distler, highest distinction. Hui Chen Betty Liu, distinction. Smriti Sharma. Woo, woo, woo. Matthew Tedelbach. Highest distinction. Malvika Singh. Jai Hunter Hill, distinction. Prakar Mishra. Morgan Anders McCarthy. Matthew Samak, highest distinction. Emma Yeager, highest distinction. Brian Rindris, highest distinction. Katie Harris, highest distinction. Akshay Oza. Cheng Yu Wu, highest distinction. Ajay Valecha. Claire. Yun Han Shu. Sanjay Renducintala, distinction. Chi Yang Chen, highest distinction. Guo Yu Wu. Han Lu Zhang, highest distinction. Manzur Mirza, highest distinction. 
Toreshe Lashabi Khan. Srija Banerjee. Navo Emmanuel. Raja Safi Ullah. Javier Arturo Rico Aristizabo. Distinction. Jonica Rathi. Anam Malik, highest distinction. Nolan Rusa. Andy Nunn, highest distinction. Christian Allen Shaber. Hajra Shahab. Ryosuke Kurematsu. Yu Jong. Ethan Winter, distinction. Yi Tian Gong, distinction. Sanjana Parmar. Graham Andrews, distinction. Michael Richard Worth. Please join me in a round of applause. Will Program Director Marie Coleman please come forward? Will the graduates of the Master of Science in Public Policy and Management, Washington, D.C. track program, please rise and come forward. Saida Rahman, <laughs> distinction. Taylor Gothier, highest distinction. Bianca Sofia Lopez. <laughs> Tamar Bailey, distinction. Max Hill, distinction. <laughs> Jacob Leo Harwas, highest distinction. Rachel Chambers. Campbell North. Angela June Papino. Ethan Gabor, highest distinction. Michelle Hurtel. Alexandra Katie Reed, highest distinction. Chathan Raj. Giovanna Shivan Mendoza. Scout Cheeks. Alex Macias. John Jankovic.
please join me in a round of applause. Folks, this is fantastic. Um, I want to give yourself all a round of applause. And the amazing audience from Hooting back there and here. Awesome. This time I want to welcome to the podium Josh Kaplan a graduate of the MSISPM program and president of the Heinz College Alumni Association Board. Josh. Congratulations, graduates. Welcome to the Heinz College Alumni Community. I'm Josh Kaplan, president of the Heinz College Alumni Association Board. I was just on campus a month ago for our first in-person board meeting in over two years. This also happened to coincide with my 15-year Heinz College reunion, and in that moment, it hit me hard. 15 years. I can't believe how fast the time has gone by. And here you are, the next class of talented graduates ready to make your mark on this world. You have just completed an incredible achievement. You've earned a graduate degree from one of the most prestigious institutions on this planet. You worked long hours, and I'm sure more than a few sleepless nights. But here's the best part. The Heinz College community continues to enhance your life now and into the future. On behalf of the Heinz College Alumni Association Board, I want you to know that the Heinz College alumni family is here to support you. And likewise, we welcome and need your engagement and your energy. You're the future of our fields, and you're the future of Heinz College. You're now part of a worldwide network of tens of thousands of Heinz College alumni, each making a positive impact on this world. As Heinz College graduates, we know the value of this education and what our fellow alumni have to offer. We've had each other's backs while in school, and we'll continue to have your back as alumni, whether you need advice, resources, or connections. The Heinz College made me a better person, not just intellectually, but down to the very core of my being. The friendships forged with fellow classmates, as well as faculty and staff, will remain with me for a lifetime. I've been committed to this school from the moment I entered as a student, and that hasn't changed since I graduated. I continue to do what I can to ensure the success of Heinz College's mission and its essential role in society, and I hope you'll join me in that work. Do your part. Bring the brilliance, innovation, and humanity that is Heinz College to your future, to your professions, to a world that needs you. Be a part of Heinz College's future so that you and I together can ensure that more graduating classes who follow you have the transformative opportunities that you and I both were afforded. We owe this to each other, and together we owe this to our school, to Heinz College. To this end, a quick request. Please keep in touch with the awesome alumni relations team and make sure your email address is up to date so you don't miss any invitations and announcements from Heinz. And now, without further ado, on behalf of the Heinz College Alumni Association and its board, I again offer my congratulations and the best of wishes as you enter this next chapter of your lives. Thank you, Josh, and let me reiterate how important it is for you to stay connected with us as you embark on your journeys from here on today. So I'd now like to introduce the winner of the Matsya Wade Teaching Award. This award is given to a member of the faculty to recognize outstanding performance in the classroom and commitment to student learning. I'm happy to present this year's Matsya Wade Teaching Award to Karen Moore. Karen.
Heinz College would not be the place it is today without Karen Moore. Joining Heinz in 1989, Karen has had an incredible impact on our students year after year, teaching vital courses like database management, business process modeling, and information systems for managers. She's played a major role in administrative and academic leadership for Heinz, leading the launch of our Master of Science in Information Technology and Master of Science in Information Security Policy and Management degree programs. Karen has also been pivotal to our educational innovation, in particular the distance education offering of the MSIT program. As I mentioned earlier in the program, Professor Moore is retiring from CMU this year, so it's really fitting that our students are sending her out on the top with the Matsio Way Teaching Award. We wish you all the very best, Karen. Congratulations. We have a tradition here at Heinz that the winner of the teaching award imparts some final words of wisdom and inspiration to the graduates. So none better than today here than Karen. Karen, the podium is yours. Thank you, Dean Krishnan. I am deeply honored and humbled to be selected this year for the Marcia Wade Teaching Award. And thank you to all who were involved in my selection. In teaching at Heinz, I can truly affirm the Carnegie Mellon motto that my heart is in the work. Dear graduates, families, colleagues, and honored guests, I am very pleased to be here today to celebrate the remarkable achievements of our Heinz College graduates and to deliver this charge. Graduates, today marks the end of one incredible journey and the beginning of another. Whether you are just starting your career or making a career change. As with all adventures, this one starts with a healthy dose of excitement, shown by many of your supporters, but also, I suspect, some feelings of uncertainty. I would like to share with you parts of my own career journey and the lessons learned in the hope they will provide useful to you as you begin your chosen career path. I did not start in teaching. I started as a senior information systems analyst with Alcoa, a uh, global manufacturing corporation. I was thrilled when I received the offer, and the work turned out to be everything I had hoped for. Colleagues I respected and enjoyed working with, challenging work with increasing responsibilities, great compensation, and work that was valued and recognized by senior management. The job checked off all my boxes. So it came as quite a surprise to my family and friends when after six years of this perfect job, I quit. It became a bit of a surprise to me as well, but I knew something was missing, although at that time I wasn't quite sure what it was. So I headed to graduate school, hoping to find it. After I graduated, uh, then came what I can only describe as forces of the universe and Dean Krishnan, who is a bit of a force in the universe himself. I found myself accepting a position at the Heinz College as Director of Information Systems. Then the Heinz College was known as the School of Urban and Public Affairs. My new position was less responsibility and less compensation than the corporate job I had left. So on paper, this did not appear to be a very smart career move, which my family was happy to point out. But I was attracted by the opportunity to work for an organization whose research and education mission was dedicated to making the world a better place. Sometimes it turns out you have to take a step backward in order to keep moving forward. Because of my decision to come to the Heinz School, I was given an opportunity to teach. And when I taught my first course, I came to fully understand 
What had been missing from that seemingly perfect job? While the work I had done for Alcoa was important work to be sure, it turned out that it wasn't that important to me. But in teaching, teaching has been especially important to me and immensely rewarding, thanks in part to wonderful students like you. Now your career path will certainly be different than mine, but my experiences and lessons learned I think are still pertinent. So if you allow me, I would like to send you on your way with some travel tips. First, while traveling on your path, remember to look around. Be curious about the work that's being conducted in your organization. Notice what work you are drawn to and look for opportunities to connect to that work. Although I came to Heinz as an IS professional, I quickly discovered I enjoyed working with students and looked for more opportunities to do just that. Second, while traveling on your path, take time to support your fellow travelers. Never pass up an opportunity to help a work colleague advance in their career. I only knew about this teaching opportunity because a colleague took the time to inform me and to encourage me to consider it. A supportive work environment is something that we all can thrive in, but we each have a responsibility to actively create such an environment. And third, be willing to explore new paths. Even when it requires venturing forth from your chosen path into uncharted territory. For me, being trained as an IS professional, teaching was definitely uncharted territory. I had no idea if I would be successful. But the opportunity to teach was too important to me not to try. So if an opportunity is of interest to you, but is outside your comfort zone, do not let the fear of failing keep you from pursuing it. Now, there is no shortage of important work for you to pursue in this world. Work that will have a positive impact on your community or your organization. Because of your many achievements, I feel quite certain that multiple paths will open up for you. Choose wisely. When the work you choose uses the amazing skills and knowledge you work so hard to achieve while you were at the Heinz College, but also connects to your innate strengths, interests, and talents. Basically what makes you, you. Then your work will be in, your heart will be in the work as well. And there will be no limit to what you can achieve. Congratulations and best wishes to each of you as you start your next adventure. Thank you, Karen. Um, I joined Heinz just a few months before Karen joined Heinz as well, and it's, uh, I've learned so much from her. You will certainly miss her, and I think she's done an amazing, amazing job over these years. So thank you very much again, Karen, for all you've done for Heinz, for our students. We're at the end of our program, and I have to say it's a bittersweet because seeing you all here in person, after holding this ceremony virtually for the last two years, it's just been just such a joy and privilege for all of us. This day coming together and celebrating your achievements, this is why we do what we do. 
And as you look ahead and move into the next phase of your lives, I just want to reiterate that you will forever be part of our Heinz College community. We sincerely hope that you will stay connected with us and we wish you the very best in all you do. Congratulations and bon voyage.